Fruit Batch is easy to make. Fruit Batch is fun to eat. Tastes good. It's fun to say. Fruit Gotcha. Hey, oh, I'm making Fruit Gotcha. I'll bring, I'll bring the Fruit Gotcha. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that's been here, for those of you that's new, please subscribe. And on this series, we're in the kitchen. And on today's episode, we're making Fugacha bread. Fugacha, Fugacha. It's so easy, anyone can make it. Come on, everyone loves Fugacha bread. You can bring it to your friend's house, you can invite people over for Fugacha. I love making Fugacha. I love eating Fugacha. I love saying Fugacha. Whenever you're ready to make this, you can refer back to this video, a quick and easy thing like that I like to do. I copy the link of a video I like. I put it in my notes in my phone. So you can type Fugacha bread. You can copy the link to your notes. And I take a screenshot of the video too. So I can always refer back to my notes on my iPhone. And it's just easy. And then I can meet you here every single time that you want to make this and we can do it together. I also am going to type out in the description all the ingredients for you guys. So if you're in the grocery store, you want to make sure you got everything. The ingredients will be and the directions will be all in the description. Okay, so let's get started. And on today's recipe, our fruit gotcha is seasoned with rosemary and sea salt and of course, olive oil. It's so simple. These are the only ingredients that you need. Two cups of flour, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of yeast, one cup of warm water. That's it. So simple. Before it goes into the oven, you're going to put like fresh rosemary, and you're gonna put extra virgin olive oil. You need a good, good extra virgin olive oil. Warm water, that was one cup. Two cups of flour. One teaspoon of yeast. One teaspoon of salt. And you mix it. That's it, mix it all good. Okay. All stirred and it's going to get sticky. You oh, do you like my Dolce Gabbana apron? So simple. Look at this. Look how happy that. That's it. That's it. It's going to turn into a ball like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to cover it and you're, we're going to put it somewhere warm to raise for double the size. Basically, it's going to be almost an hour, I want to say. Don't forget to put intention into it. Now, remember, everyone's going to be eating this, and most magic is created in the kitchen. So any kind of manifestation that you want to create for you and your family or whoever you're sharing this bread with, just put intentions, fill it with love. Now made with love, there is something to that. All their magic in their kitchen. Go to your pantry for your herbs. You're over your stove in your cauldron, whipping up magic every day. Let's sit for about an hour to rise. Chop in some rosemary. Oh, you know, rosemary is my favorite. Oh my God. Rosemary is good for the memory. Oh, it's for protection. Rosemary comes in handy, let me tell you. Rosemary is a good source of iron, calcium, and vitamin B6. It helps alleviate muscle pain, improves memory, good for your digestion. It boosts your immune system. It has antioxidants and anti-inflammatory. Rosemary is so good for the brain 
It protects against brain damage. Rosemary contains an ingredient that helps prevent brain aging. There are studies showing that it could play a role in preventing Alzheimer's and even slowing down the spread of certain cancers. If you're preparing for a test or if you're learning something new while studying, smell rosemary, whether it's the plant or it's a rosemary oil, because it helps with concentration, enhances memory recall, and also helps with alertness and keeps you focused. I love rosemary. Chop it up real good. You can keep some kind of long. I mean, this is obviously for the taste, but it's also for the look too. So if you have some long pieces, why not? Why not? All right, so this is all ready for us when we need it. So while you're waiting for your bread to rise, have a little espresso, all right? Drink a little water, very important. Listen, there's no excuse not to even have fresh rosemary at all times. You know, it's snowing out there today. Today's a snow day. And I went out in my snow boots to go walk over to my herb pot and I cut rosemary. It was all frozen. I just let it thaw it out. And look at this. <laughs> Fresh rosemary. I love it. I love In an eight inch square dish with extra virgin olive oil, you're going to be very generous. A lot. Ooh, I mean like a lot. Look at this. Oh, so good. Hey, oh, I'm waiting for my focaccia to rise. It's gonna double in size. Okay, so it's been over an hour now. Let's check. Oh yeah. Okay, so it doubled in size. Now we're gonna take this and we're just moving this over. has a lot of oil in it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it with our hands and we're going like this and we're gonna dimple it with our fingers okay so there's plenty of oil in here that I'm not gonna need to drizzle anymore now we dimple like this. If you didn't have this much oil in it, this is where you can actually pour a little oil on top. Beautiful. See? You want it all on the sides there. Beautiful. Okay. So you're going to cover it up. One more hour. Let this raise. It's been another hour. Oh, it's ready. It's ready to go in. Okay. So now we're adding this to the top. <laughs> Yummy. We're seasoning with rosemary this time, but sometimes I like to make it with tri-color tomatoes or different kind of olives. Be creative, guys, and let me know in the comments what kind you like to make. Now, wait till you see how delicious this is. It's so easy, right? I mean, it's so easy. How could you guys not do this? Okay. Now, if you're gonna see little bubbles, you can pop them if you want. Or just let them pop in there. Now let's put it in. It's going into an oven that's 450 degrees and it's going in for 25 minutes. Okay, so it is done. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Put in the comments. I would love to see who did this 
Uh, I want to see pictures. I want to see videos. Let me know how yours turns out and how everyone just loves it. And don't forget to meet me back here so that we can do this together whenever you want to make Fugaccia. Oh my God, it's so good.